Have you been surprised by the lack of clarity, maybe, uh, of the DeSantis campaign in really creating a pathway through Trump? And if you are surprised, I'm not surprised. What, what do you think he's doing surprised. wrong? If you had to critique I, it. Yeah, I'm not surprised because, you know, I know him uh, and I think he's a good executor, right? I think he has been, a, I disagree with some other people on this. I think he's been quite an effective governor. I think that when you're talking about, and Scott Walker in the last cycle was quite an effective governor. And for the same reasons that people believed Scott Walker was going to be the runaway nominee last time around, I think that people naturally gravitate. People think they want somebody who has done something as an effective executor. But when it comes to the US presidency, I think it's a unique role where what matters is actually having a vision for where we are going, right? And so I'm not, uh, with, I don't, without saying things that are interpreted as being mean about somebody else or not, I know all of these people, I've known them for a long time. I've shared stages with them over the course of my Woke Inc. book tour and Nation of Victims book tour. I'm not surprised with how things are going in this race. I, you know, I, I said, we expected to be where we are in November. We're here in July. I'm not surprised that we're doing well. I understand how audiences across this country responded to my message in Woke Inc. I'm not surprised that they're continuing to respond well to Trump. I think there's nothing surprising about where we are in this race right now. And so you're not surprised because because DeSantis is a competent administrator, but that is a great job as governor, but not the bill of goods for the president. I, I'm really at a point in this race where I'm I, I want well, to focus I mean, look, not don't, on don't criticizing other candidates, it, but to be honest with you, I think I think there's a lot of truth to what you said. Yeah. Don't you think part of it though is that Trump has singled out DeSantis as the one candidate who he's going to beat the hell out of? I mean, I don't think so, David. Actually, I'll tell you why. Um, it's it's it, it but really, that's true, it's right? He has not attacked you. Trump's he, actually said good things about you. Yeah, he has and, not attacked anybody else in this race. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Have, don't you think Trump? Trump? have you spent time with Trump? I know all these guys. I know. All have these you spent people? time with Trump? When's the last time you talked to him? Not a serious amount of time. I've spent more time with DeSantis than I have with Trump. Have you spent had over one an dinner. hour with Trump? Uh, once, yeah. When, this is long before I was running for president, but um, we had dinner. Uh, Has uh, his multi, people ever reached out and dinner. tried to build bridges with you? We've During talked backstage. I mean, most of us, when we intersect each other, we're speaking at the same forums, the NRA, the family leader thing that Tucker did backstage. We have interactions with all the other candidates. And I'd like to think I'm friendly with everybody. Uh, you know, I don't know how, you know, I haven't talked to Ron recently, but I've talked to him more before. But I think the reality is, uh, you know, so Dave, what you said is, is definitely true. And I'm not in this to be a political analyst, right? I'm in this to state what my beliefs are, say who I am, and people can vote for me or not. But I actually do think, I, I don't think that Trump's commentary on the other candidates is having so much of an effect. I think voters, many people who were maybe initially behind DeSantis, I know many of them were people who are part of that traditional establishment that didn't want that, most of them didn't want to have nothing to do with Trump but decided that that was the next best thing. So I don't think that Trump's attacks are going to persuade them one way or another. I think it comes down to the study of what happened in 2016, right? Scott Walker, great governor, really respect the guy. And I like what he's doing in his post elected office life as well. But everybody has a role to play in reviving this country. And I think we all have to look ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves, how are we going to make our unique contribution? And I think it's going to require governors who are effective implementers of a vision that makes their states thrive. I think Governor DeSantis has done a really good job of that. I think Christy Noem has done a really good job of that. I think there are people who hopefully will continue to have an impact on our culture outside of government altogether. There's a really important role for that. And Jason, I think that's my answer to your other question. Uh, 